Good evening. Hello. Here we are for another review. And we're going to review today on Couples Review by Avery Brewing Company. Barrel Age Series Stout aged in bourbon barrels with peanuts added. Yeah. It is called Nuttiest Professor. Barrel Aged Imperial Peanut Stout. And this was bottled on June 19th of this year, 2017. And it clocks in at 15.2%. Which means I'm dead. Uh, pretty hefty fucking brew. I have never had this one. I've, we both never had this. And we thought we'd give it a try. Sounds good. It sounds good. I'm guessing it's going to taste like peanut butter maybe. I don't know. With some barrel aged notes. But... Let's crack it and see what happens. So Avery comes out with some hefty uh, barrel aged. All of them. Brews. Which they're normally pretty tasty. Rumpkin and what's the Ooh, other one? My, one the, my favorite by them was uh, the vanilla rock, bean. Vanilla bean. Oh, the vanilla bean, yeah. Bourbon. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, Rumpkin and there's another one. What was it? I can't remember what one it was. There's rumpkin and something else. Anyways, they come out some good, strong barrel aged shit. Do they have some sort of pink in this? There was, that's rumpkin. Is that it's a, a pumpkin beer aged in rum barrels. Oh, it's already out. Yeah. Well, it's been out. But I heard this year's was pretty good. But anyways, let's, let's get on this. Nuttiest Professor Barrel Aged Imperial Peanut Stout. I'm going to guess it tastes like peanut butter, but let's just go for it. Smells pretty good. I don't know. Maybe. Actually, I can smell the peanuts. I can smell the peanuts. Yeah, it's, it's coming out it's pretty, pretty strong. Pretty strong. Kind of more than the bourbon one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. We got our uh, little tulip glasses we got here. From Beer Camp. Beer Camp, yeah. Mm. Alright, let's uh, smell it and see what it smells like. So I'm getting, I'm getting peanuts. I'm getting alcohol. I, mean, yeah, you smell, <laughs> I don't smell bourbon, it's, but I smell alcohol. It's not bourbon. I don't know what barrel this is aged in. Let's see. It just says barrel aged. Oh, bourbon barrels. Okay. I'm not really getting strong bourbon on the nose. I'm getting alcohol for sure. Booziness. The peanuts uh, are pretty much overtaking everything. Yeah, it's to good. Me. I mean, I like a beer that says something that tastes like it is, but. Yeah, kind of alcohol y. No head whatsoever. I mean, I peered, I poured both of these. No head. Thin body. Pitch black. Uh, let's taste it. There is peanuts. 15.2%. Peanuts are very strong to me. It's, that, it's not like straight peanuts, but the nutty flavor. It's got a nuttiness to it. Like my nuts. <laughs> go Hawks. Go Hawks. Ooh. Football season's coming up. Go Hawks. It's, this is our year. We're going to take it. For all you haters out there. Oh, well, anyways, what do you think of the beer? Man, let me taste it again and let you know. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. I don't really like it. It's not that great. Nope. But... For 15 point, what is it, 15.2 percent? Definitely doesn't taste like 15.2 percent. Like it's drinkable. Yeah. It's not like uh, in your mouth, you know. Like holy shit, it's strong. It definitely hides the ABV very good. I mean, what do you think? I, I just mean, don't really like it. I it's kind of bland. I think that there, you can taste the peanuts and then the alcohol, and that's really all of it. The peanuts, the peanut taste is there. A little overwhelming to me, kind of, actually. Overwhelming. Overwhelming as that. in the flavor sucks. It's overwhelming how much this sucks to me. It doesn't suck. Hold uh, on. Let me get a few more sips. Because obviously you need to sip at least five or six or eight times, you know. Or the whole bottle. Or the whole bottle. I don't the know. smell, I mean, the smell has some nuttiness to it, but other than that, it's like nuttiness and alcohol. It's not that pleasing of yeah, a smell. Yeah, when you go to take a sip, I'm not, I'm not getting bourbon. No. Are you? I just get peanuts and alcohol. Not 
I'm not getting peanut butter. No, because it's not peanut butter. I know, it's but you, you think of peanut, you're like, okay, peanut butter. No, because there's other ingredients. You're right, it probably would have said peanut butter. Yeah, but. thank you. Man. Sorry, I just don't like it. <laughs> Overall review, you're not... You're not getting a strong alcohol taste for being that high of an ABV, which is fine by me. I'm not. I don't need that high ABV taste. No, of I mean, alcohol. it does burn, but it's just not no, like. It really doesn't burn to me at it, all. Uh, peanuts do stick out on the smell and the you taste. Say penis? I'm not penis. <laughs> the peanuts do stand out on the smell and the taste, and the alcohol. I don't know, man. Not it. It's. It's mediocre to me. It's. I don't know. If I were to rate this beer, I'm sorry. Okay, well, if I had to, we are going to rate this beer 1 through 10, 0 to 10. What would you rate it? 2. A 2? Yeah. Holy shit. I really don't like it. It's not pleasing. It's, it's two flavors alcohol and peanuts. That's all it is to me. Yeah, I mean. There's supposed to be maltiness. I was hoping to get more out of this. Nuttiest Professor, Barrel Age Imperial, Imperial Peanut Stout, 15.2%. I, I guess you're drinking what it says, because it does taste like peanut and it does taste like alcohol, but it doesn't give me a good bourbon feel. I'm gonna, like a good bourbon. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting any bourbon. I'm getting peanut notes, which is fine, I guess. That's what it says. Out of a 10, 0 out of 10, I'm going to give it a... This is giving it a chance. I'm going to rate it a 4. Which, that's giving it a chance. She rated it a 2. Um, and I'm, I'm truthful. It's just not He's that just great. Nice. It's just not that great. Um, good try. Not got, they got the peanut taste in there, but just good try. Maybe a different blend of flavors? But anyways, I know, not the best review, but hey, we gave it a shot. I bought it. Definitely not worth the price point. Definitely, it's 15 bucks where I bought this at. For a small Definitely, bottle. I should have bought Rumpkin because it was next to it. Definitely not worth the price point, but whatever. You gotta give everything a try first, or once, sorry. Yeah, anyways, until next time. Cheers. We're out.